If you thought the AI revolution moved fast, you haven't seen what's happening in the quantum labs this month. We are officially closing out the International Year of Quantum. From Silicon Valley to the sands of Saudi Arabia, the race for quantum advantage just hit light speed. First up, the biggest story of the quarter. Google Quantum AI has officially claimed verifiable quantum advantage. Their new 105 qubit processor, named Willow, just performed a calculation 13,000 times faster than the world's fastest supercomputer. But here is the kicker. It wasn't just fast, it was accurate. Using a new algorithm called Quantum Echoes, they verified the results against classical machines. Google CEO Sundar Pichai went on record yesterday, saying quantum is now exactly where AI was five years ago, poised for a massive explosion. They are already using Willow to simulate nuclear magnetic resonance, opening doors for new materials and drugs. Not to be outdone, IBM just wrapped up their quantum developer conference with a massive hardware shift. Meet Nighthawk, their new 120 qubit chip. Unlike previous chips, Nighthawk uses a new square topology. Why does that matter? It allows for 30% more complex circuits with fewer errors. IBM is strictly sticking to their roadmap, projecting that by the end of this year, Nighthawk will run 5,000 gates reliably. This is the workhorse chip the industry has been waiting for to move past simple experiments. The race is global. Just this Friday, researchers at USTC in China announced a quantum Lego breakthrough using the Zhuchongji 2 processor. They've created a new state of matter that acts like armor for qubits, protecting them from noise, a massive step towards stability. Meanwhile, in the Middle East, Aramco and Pascal have made history by deploying the first industrial quantum computer in Saudi Arabia. This isn't a lab toy. It's a neutral atom powerhouse designed specifically for energy and materials research, marking a huge shift in how the energy sector views quantum tech. This year has proven that we are no longer just theorizing about quantum computers. We are building them, shipping them, and solving real physics with them.